You got your script ready? Yeah, I think I've got them right here. Let me check. Actually, I think these are from another play. Didn't I send you a Google Doc? Could you send that over? Actually, I think they might be in my cabinet. Let me let me let me go check. Someone's gonna have to show Aaron how to get all his stuff in order. Welcome to Tool Tips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to aggregate multiple sources of information into Airtable using Airtable Sync. With Airtable Sync, you can bring in key workflow information from other sources. That could be products managed in another Airtable base or documents managed in Google Drive. Even better, you can bring in multiple sources into one table, which we call multi-source sync. So if your design team uses a wide array of file hosting services, you can create a standard review process for each or a universal status, regardless of which platform the assets come from. We'll recap quickly how to sync one source in Airtable, then we'll get into the nitty gritty of syncing more than one source. Finally, we'll show you how to turn that sync into a workflow using added fields and automations. To sync from an external source is easy. Just pick the source and connect it. Let's say I want to sync assets created by the design team in a separate base. I can select Airtable as my source, copy paste the shared view URL, and boom, I've got a synced table. It's important to remember that this is a one-way sync. Changes can only be done in the source, in my case, the base where assets are designed, and not in the destination table. That said, this table acts like any other. I can add fields, create views, linked records together. More on that later. Let's talk multi-source sync first. Syncing from multiple sources isn't that different from a single source sync. The main difference is that you have existing fields in your table. That means you have to map your new sources information to these fields. Let's say a separate design team is sourcing information in Box. I can select Box as my source. Now I say map the information from Box, the assets, the assets name, so on and so forth, to the fields already in my table. Now any changes in Box or Airtable are automatically reflected in my sync table. Small pro tip here, when you have multiple sources, you can tell which record comes from where with the sync source field. It's automatically created when you're aggregating multiple sources. Having all of your information in one place is a great start, but to truly make this sync useful, it's important to make it part of your workflow. Now with all of my assets in one place, I can connect each piece of content to its relevant asset and see whether we're using the same asset over and over. I can also create approval workflows using Airtable automations. When a new file is added to Box or anywhere else, it'll create a new record in my sync table. And with automations that can kick off a notification to the team so they can review it. Multi-source sync by itself is great and valuable, but by adding fields and linking records to other tables and running automations, it can bring your workflow to another level. I'm gonna take Michaela's advice and put all of my files into one folder so they're easy to find. And you could do the same with Airtable Sync, whether that's pulling information from Airtable, tickets from Jira or Zendesk, or even Salesforce reports. What are you gonna sync? And that's it for this week's episode of Tooltips. I'll see you back here next week.